So, you know, as far as the origin story of Frost Children, well, we grew up together, so it was pretty much just like playing in band camps all the time every summer. Um, I had Sometimes I had my own band, and sometimes Angel had her own band, but I like to think that my band was better. You did not just say that. You did not just not just say that. Well, we had lots of musical collaborations. Most of them were positive. I was in a band called Permafrost, um, and we did lots of covers of cool songs, real rock and roll type stuff, you know. Whereas Lulu was doing covers of the Beatles, blech, establishment. It was a return to tradition. Meanwhile, I was paving a way for the future as a 12-year-old. And that all happened in Chesterfield, Missouri. And uh, we started making music together in 2019 as Frost Children in St. Louis during the pandemic. Since then, well, you know what happens. One, two, three, go! Uh, yeah, we got a new album coming out on True Panther Sounds, April 14th, 2023. Really excited about it. Uh, much of the songwriting process came from a book that our Uncle Theo Burgess Frost gave us, um, where it teaches you how to summon an abris, which is a pop music muse that teaches you how to make the perfect pop song in three simple steps. So that was, that was a huge influence in this album. It's a pop album, dancey. It'll make you have fun and smile. Yeah. I say as far as influences for the record, too, a lot of the production. Um, shouts out to, one, Virtual Riot from Germany. And, two, shouts out to Bad Bunny, because when we first moved to Ridgewood, Queens, Bad Bunny was playing everywhere in the streets. And then I started listening to him a lot. And now I produce all of our vocals like Bad Bunny. I just realized I wasn't crossing my legs in those last shots, which is very unladylike of me, and I apologize. Okay. Thanks. There's a there's an equal love for playing music where everyone knows the words and what to expect, and also when they don't know who you are and they just walk in and they're like. What? And so I like both of those feelings. And I guess on the road, we experience the latter reaction a bit more. So, uh, yeah, I'd say shows on the road are just a little bit more uh, surprising people. Keep it a uh, little sparkly. And we're also learning. I'm learning how to get better at um, fry screaming with every performance. So now I can go like, Wah! and not... I forgot my voice. Bah, bah. Like that. Thank you.